The exhibit hall is now open to attendees. Have a great Comic-Con. With those words, the doors to Geek Heaven would open and tens of thousands of zealous fans would flood into the convention center each summer. We have a ticket! Seeking out comics, movies, games, collectibles, and more. Thank you for attending Comic-Con. The exhibit hall is now closed. The last time anyone heard that announcement in person was in July of 2019, as Comic-Con ended a landmark 50th show. But for the second time, COVID-19 has forced the mega pop culture convention to stage a virtual show rather than an in-person one. Between Comic-Con and its sister convention, WonderCon, the nonprofit organization will now have produced four online shows, so it's getting easier. Well, sort of. Well, I think it's uh, a lot less stressful, which should not be confused with not stressful. That's Comic-Con spokesperson David Glanzer. Last year, I think we were probably, in terms of fan-related events, we're probably one of the first that really mounted something like this. And uh, now that the pandemic seems to be lessening, you know, we may very well be one of the, the last, so we kind of bookend it. This year's Comic-Con at Home is only three days, but there will be a virtual dealer's room as well as a full slate of panels for attendees to choose from, and it's all free. You can find panels on Afrofuturism, queer horror, neurotic superheroes, and API and AAPI creators. As someone who's been attending Comic-Con for decades, I was thrilled to be able to watch 70 hours of programming last year. Hello and welcome to Art and the Holocaust. The woman behind Mythic Quest, Raven's Banquet. Zombies and coronavirus planning for the next big outbreak. That feat could never be duplicated in person, where you have to allow for hours of waiting in line, or at the very least, travel time between panels. Virtual programming means you can watch panels back to back all day from your couch. And if one panel doesn't deliver what you want, then you can immediately jump into another without missing a beat. Plus, you no longer have to make agonizing decisions when faced with overlapping programming. One of the great things about being virtual was during a real show, uh, you have to decide sometimes, you know, what do I want to see? The great thing about being virtual is that you just have to decide what you want to see first. So the, the plan is, again, to uh, have times when the panels drop, but those panels should remain online for, you know, a period of time. The Eisner Awards, often referred to as the Oscars of the comics industry, will also be virtual again this year. And I want to welcome you to the Will Eisner Comic Industry Award Show. The good news about the virtual show is it's only an hour, and having it online as video means you can pause it and take notes about nominees and create a perfect summer reading list. And the nominees are... But there's nothing that can replace the in-person gathering where you enjoy an annual reunion with geeky friends, and the joyous discovery of walking through the exhibit hall and finding a new artist or comic. In order to satisfy that need for face-to-face -face fandom, Move along. Comic Con is creating a special edition event in November. It'll be over Thanksgiving weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We do know we'll be at the convention center. We do know that we'll have programming and exhibit floor space. So it'll be a smaller show, a more intimate show. And that's something you can geek out about. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.